I got to tell you, that's such nonsense. Yeah, he hates Britain so much that before he went over to Ireland, he had tea with the British prime minister. So it's just a lot of hooey. Britain is our best ally. But let me just tell you something. Every president goes to where his family roots were. Obama went to Africa and Kenya. Biden goes to Ireland. Trump goes to New York and they're still taking his name off the buildings and they're yelling, New York hates Trump as he goes by and he can't get any protesters to show up to follow his cars. But the, the point is every president goes to where his roots are and he is having the blast of a lifetime. Your headlines are correct. Biden joy, says one paper. Biden uh, meets uh, his ancestral roots is another paper's headlines. But you know what the, America is, is doing? This is page 13 of the Washington Post, where you finally get to Biden visits Belfast to mark Good Friday Accord 25th. Page 13, and it has a great and analytical story, and it talks about all the pros and cons and how the uh, the uh, the uh, a group, the peace agreement, which, by the way, they never mentioned that George Mitchell, who I hosted at the National Press Club, uh, was instrumental in, in, in negotiating that. But uh, they never they never get to. Uh, everything that you guys are talking about, that he hates Britain. Of course he doesn't hate Britain. We love Britain. So, Robert, then what do you say to unionist communities who see Joe Biden making a joke about the, the black and tans, a, a unit, a regiment in the Irish War for independence instead of the all blacks of New Zealand? Do you think that was a deliberate attempt to stir up resentment? Well, what I saw in the clips I read uh, was him trying to build peace to make sure that the security of the agreement from 25 years ago holds, that there isn't terror, that there isn't war, that there isn't gunfire. Uh, that's what I saw Joe Biden trying to do. The so rest why of it, bring up a war that took to place 100 years he's ago? He's trying to have a lot of fun in his home of his ancestry. Well, absolutely. But if, it, if he is so obsessed with his ancestry, I would argue he doesn't know very much about its history if he wants to bring up a reference like that whilst trying to advocate peace on the island of Ireland. Let, let me just say, you guys know every nitty gritty part of it because you live there and you should. And that's wonderful. And I, and I appreciate that, that you know your history and, and it's accurate. Um, he's dealing with a lot of stuff. He's dealing with a, a Senate that doesn't have a full membership. He's dealing with inflation. He's dealing with all of Donald Trump's prosecutions. And, you know, we've talked about that previously on your show. He, he's got a cavalcade of prosecutions coming up. Uh, he's dealing with with uh, China. He, he's dealing with Iran. He's dealing with a lot of stuff. And that's why it's page 13 of the Washington Post. This is a vacation trip for him, essentially. And it's a really fun one for him and one that he'll remember and you guys will remember. And all of the press clips that I've seen show all of the Irish people having a very good time with Joe and 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 and, and tapping uh, beers with him and everything. So uh, I'm not sure that you, you got it right. I, you know, Trump did 40,000 lies. Biden makes a few gaffes. Yeah, I mean, President Trump, though, was pretty unapologetic about his love for the British monarchy and all the rest of it. I mean, President Biden has yeah. in the past, you know, talked about Britain's history in right. quite derogatory terms. I mean, what do you say to the fact that actually under Biden, a lot of commentators and all the rest of it are saying that actually the special relationship ain't so special anymore? Oh, it's very special. But let me say this. Oh, you're going to hate me. You're never going to invite me on your show again. <laughs> Do you know what I have for the date of the coronation? What's that? On my calendar? Turned TV off. And uh -oh. I think a lot of Americans are going to do that. And, oh, and Americans love the monarchy. They love it. They're obsessed okay. with the royal family. <laughs> Some, yes. Uh, especially... Uh, I don't understand how, how you guys pay for that and, and, and use it as a vehicle of government. Trump wants an autocratic system, but you luckily your monarchy is not the power. Your electoral system is your power.